Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over dithering. So dithering is a sensitive subject for a lot of people, but a lot of plugins have this and it is used when you uh, go from a higher bit, uh, bit depth audio file to 16 bits. Uh, and that would be CD. So when you have, when you're working, say 24 bit or something like that, and you want to bring it down to 16 bits, the idea is that the dithering adds some noise, so no data is lost and it doesn't cause any funny business. Um, in general, because audio these days is so loud, um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, no one has been able to point out a recording that has been ruined by dithering or not dithering. but. When in doubt, you might as well do it. All it's going to do is add a little bit to the noise floor. Um, and keep in mind that a lot of uh, modern recordings have a, a bit of noise in them, uh, say from like SSL G comp. You know, even if you don't even use any analog gear, there's a bit of noise. So, yeah, there's that. Um, Ableton also, like a lot of DAWs have dithering built in but if you want to use dithering that's fine noise shaping basic or optimized totally fine weighted also good idea um yeah when in doubt just use it uh, i don't want to get crucified um me i don't dither um but it's just you know the audio or the information lost doesn't really matter uh in terms of you know modern recordings if you have something with a lot of headroom uh then it's a good idea but in general yeah um <laughs> this is a very a very odd and difficult video to do because you know whatever but yeah that is uh dithering so i hope you uh learn stuff take care and have a good one